Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is MC and you're watching Esli Canada, the place to be for international students who want to study subtle and explore opportunities here in Canada. So if you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed yet, make sure that you hit that red button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss any videos that I upload every single week. And also, I have SLE Student Lounge where you can interact with other international students, you get free resources in there, and also free access to all my school partners here in Canada. So I'll see you there after watching this video. I think I'm having a rushes here. But anyways, in today's video, we're going to talk about the one-year program. Is one-year program suitable for you and your PR pathways here in Canada? So this is one of the common questions that I always get from international students. Would I get a one-year program instead of two years? Okay, there are a lot of success stories from people that got their permanent residency just taking one-year program, but it requires a lot of planning, organizing and you need to be careful when it comes to taking a one-year program then again in this video we're going to talk about and we're going to run through the pros and cons of taking a one-year versus two-year program and also the factors that could affect your permanent residency of taking a one-year program and what are your exit plans if something didn't work out Now let's move on to the pros and cons of studying one year versus two year program. The first one is the length of your post graduation work permit. If you study for one year, then you only get one year post graduation work permit. But if you study for two years, you could get up to three years post graduation work permit. So the next point is the cost. So if you study for one year, you only get to pay one year worth of tuition fee right if you study for two years again it's gonna be more expensive if you study for two years so that point goes to one year program so the next one is the pr options if you study for one year you have um, Canadian experience class, you have provincial nomination, but if you study for two years, you have more PR options. One example here is the AIPP or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program for international students. If you study for two years, you're eligible for the AIPP International Graduate Stream. If you only study for one year, you're not eligible for this program. That's why I'm saying that if you study for two years, you have more options. You have more PR options so now let's talk about the length of the study why is it important to consider this one you know why because if you study for two years you're actually losing more money in there because you cannot work but you cannot work full-time you can only work 20 hours a week while you're studying as opposed to one year program you're done after eight months you can get a permanent full-time job after your school so again, these points that I just mentioned, you have to weigh all of those things and this will affect your decision making, right? And now we're going to talk about the factors that could affect your permanent residency after your school. It's very important to consider before you make a decision that I will go ahead with one year program. So the first factor here is your age. Age is very important in express entry because once you reach 45 or yeah, 40 years old, you're losing a lot of points when it comes to your permanent residency. And you have to consider this, what's your age right now or what's your age by the time you finish your program. So the next factor here is your education. What is your level of education? Do you have master's degree already? Do you have PhD? Have you already submitted that to uh, education credential assessment from West or ECAS? Because you need to know what's your equivalency here in Canada and from there you will see how much points would you get for your permanent residency, right? Next factor here is the English test. You have to know, you can actually assess yourself. What's the level of your English proficiency, right? Before you make that decision of eyeing for a one-year program, make sure you get A for highest score in English proficiency. That's great, guys. Maybe one-year program will work for you. As you know, in express entry or even in provincial nominee program, 
English proficiency is very important. So the more score you get in your English proficiency test, the higher the chances you get your permanent residency here in Canada. That's why you really need to assess your English proficiency. Next one is your employment prospect here in Canada. As you know, in marketing, location, location, location is very important. You have to double check your job prospect is this province is the right province for example if you're an IT professional I would go to British Columbia because you have more options for PR here you have more job opportunities so you have to do your job market research before you decide that hey I'm gonna go for one year program in in this school because after my program I would get a job right away it's very important to get a job before even before you finish your program so I I would highly definitely suggest that. So now our next factor is the marital status. Are you single or are you married? If you are married, then good news for you because you have more chances of getting your permanent residency because you have your partner who can work with you towards your main goal, which is the PR, okay? However, you need to determine who's the main applicant, who's gonna study, so you guys can uh, determine that. So you have to calculate your score using the CRS tool where I talk about in this video, so you guys can check that one. Again, if you're married, you have good chances of working this out towards your permanent residency again let's visualize this guys okay if the student will study for one year the student will get a one year post graduation work permit so in total you have two years to work on your permanent residency for a couple okay so while the student is studying the partner could start getting a job offer and then applying for permanent residency either provincial nomination or Canadian experience class. In total, sometimes you can get your permanent residency in one year, guys, or 1.5 years. So before PGWP expires, you have your permanent residency provided that you have all the documentation needed for your permanent residency. That's why it's very important to, again, plan ahead, organize all your documents, and you have to work together with your partner. If you're single, it's not the end of the world, okay? You can still, um, you know, finish your school, get Canadian experience, or rather look through the provincial nomination program because some provincial nominee program doesn't require you to have a one-year um, Canadian experience. You have to weigh all the factors for permanent residency. If you think that you can get an invitation to apply right away through this provincial nominee program, then do that instead of doing the Canadian experience class where you you have to wait for one year before you get your ITA. So now let's talk about our exit plan, okay? Let's just be honest, let's just be realistic that sometimes our plan does not work out, okay? It's not like rainbows, butterflies, unicorns, that you know, you don't have any challenges. Be re re realistic, guys. So sometimes you really need to have a backup plan when you're planning to get a one-year program, okay? So the first scenario here is what if, okay, you start your program, your partner didn't get a job right away. What if he got a job, but it's under NOCC? It's not eligible for express entry. So you need to come up with anything, you know? You need to come up with another plan, which is maybe consider taking another program another one year program so you will have a combined program one plus one so you get three years post graduation work permit so again this will only work if you have not applied your pgwp yet so that's why you have to figure this out before you finish your first program so the second exit plan is for people that got an invitation to apply they got it however the pgwp is not enough to get their permanent residency, okay? There's another solution for that. Apply for bridging open work permit, okay? For people that I know that go through one-year program, 
they uh, they got this uh, work permit. So while they're processing their permit residency, once you get the ITA, you are eligible to apply for bridging open work permit. So this is for people that got an IT or processing the permit residency under express entry. Um, home, home child care support under PNP, under Agri Food Pilot Program. So those programs, you are eligible for uh, bridging open work permit. So the, you can still continue working here in Canada while you're waiting for your permanent residency. And also it's very important if you're taking a one year program, make sure that you're not gonna make any mistakes in your permanent residency application because if you screw your application then you still need to come up with another plan what would you do if you got PR refused so I don't want to be like negative here but again we still have to come up with the worst case scenario you need to have an exit plan again the biggest challenge if you're taking a one-year program is the time you have time pressure to get your permanent residency you have time constraint guys if you're a kind of person that you don't want you cannot work under pressure i think <laughs> consider taking a two-year program because for me that's why i, I consider two year i don't want to be like stressful and not be like i need to get a job right away because i have time pressure here you know i need to get a job I need to get my PR right away because I only have um, you know, two years in total or maybe one year post relation work for me to work towards my permanent residency. So it really depends on your status, your age, your employment, your English proficiency, everything that I just talked about. You need to think about it now before considering taking a one year program. So now my question for you, would you rather take a one year program or two years? I wanna hear from you guys and all the magical things happen over SLE Student Lounge. I want to see you there and thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and you find it helpful. And I'll see you to the next video. Bye!